Hi, I'm Carl Schwanke from the Charlotte Mecklenburg Library, and I'm going to give you the second of three animal stories from India. This one is the elephant, the frogs, and the toad. Now once, there was a great elephant who would come in every day to bathe in a huge pond in the forest. Of course, the elephant enjoyed it very, very much, but it was bad news for all the little frogs. His splashing around would just disrupt everything, and even some of them were smashed under his huge, heavy feet. And so, one day, the frogs all got together and went to the wise old toad who lived in a hollow tree near the pond. And they all went to him and with one voice they said, Oh, wise toad, please help us. There is a great huge elephant that comes in every day to the pond and disrupts our lives and even crushes several of us under his huge heavy feet. What can we do? And the wise old toad thought for a moment. He said, well, you have quite a problem there. That elephant is indeed huge and bulky, but there's one thing to be bulky and another thing to be bold. And so let me pick out one of you. And if you will do just as I say, you will get rid of this elephant. And so the elephant, the frog, the toad picked out one of the smallest little toad frogs and told him what to do. And as soon as he did that, the little toad hopped up top of a rock that was overlooking the pond just as the elephant was approaching. And the little frog cried out, Stop! You will no longer come and bathe in this pond. And the elephant just said, oh, Who are you? And what makes you think that you can stop me? And the little frog said, Well, there is a big, huge, powerful spirit who lives in that hollow tree. And he has given me all his power. Enough power to smash you into tiny little bits. And the elephant said, ha, ha, ha. I would like to see you try that. And I would like to hear this spirit speak for himself. And no sooner had he said that than the toad took in a deep breath and said in his loudest voice, Yes. I am the mighty spirit of a hollow tree, and I have given that little frog all of my power, enough power to smash you into tiny little bits. And that hollow tree amplified the toad's voice so much that it filled the entire forest. And as the elephant was looking around to see where the voice had come from, the little toad hopped off that rock down into the pond where the elephant's reflection was in the pond and splattered that, pump, that reflection. And the little frog looked up and said, All right, big elephant, just like I smashed and splattered your reflection in this pond, I'm going to jump and smash you that tiny little bit. And the elephant turned around in a panic and ran as fast as he could from that pond and never returned. And then all the little frogs came back to the wise old toad and said with one voice, Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, wise toad. And the toad said, Well, of course, you're very welcome. Didn't I tell you? It's one thing to be big and bulky, and it's another thing to be bold. 